For the last six months, I've been going to a lot of cons. But more specifically, I've been going to anime conventions that cater to the black community. Mainly Blurcon and Dreamcon. And this got me thinking, why do black people love anime so much? From the toughest gangster to the weeb that want to see, uh, you know, these. What is the through line that makes us love this genre so much? I thought about it long and hard. Well, I thought about it for like 10 minutes in the shower. But nonetheless, I still thought about it. So like the only answer I could come up with was something called aesthetics. Yes, yes, the word aesthetics. I'm not gonna lie, I hate that word so much. Hipsters and LA vloggers made that word have the same value as a pair of AirPods from Wish. But I feel like it's the perfect word to use in this situation. Okay, check this out. Black culture thrives on aesthetics. From jazz to hip hop, black people have defined ourselves through our aesthetics. You know, after that um, little slavery thing happened, black Americans really didn't have an identity of our own. So what do we do? We made it. All right, no, listen, chill out, Dylan. I'm gonna bring it back to anime real soon. This this is your African American History Studies class, and I know you want to hear more about, you know, anime titties, but I promise this all has a point. I think. Okay, now, look at anime. This shit is aesthetics on Compound V. Like, who doesn't want to see a 12-year-old boy beat the shit out of a homoerotic clown that uses bubblegum to fight? With no context, that's probably the coolest sentence I ever said in my life. As black people, we are drawn to things that are counterculture. Hip-hop was made to challenge the norms of society. Big rings, track suits, huge glasses. Hold, let me be honest real quick. Why, why the fuck were y'all wearing those big-ass glasses? Them shits was ass. Back to the point. Who the fuck wants to be Superman when there are fucking robots in disguise. Not me. Superman is mid. He wears suits. He wears glasses. That ain't P. But let's get back to this essay. I want to tell you guys a story. Can I tell y'all a story? Oh, why am I asking y'all? This is my video. I'm going to tell y'all a story. I remember growing up and never related to the heroes I seen on TV. I'm not rich like Bruce. I'm not tall or strong like Clark. And I don't have a good family structure like Barry. Shit, I wasn't even chosen by a divine guy like Shazam. I was a black kid growing up in the inner city, fighting other kids just so my mom could show me a little bit more attention. And then it happened. I remember it like it was yesterday. I went home, sat down, turned on Toonami, and this show came on. Yu Yu Hakusho. There he was. Yusuke, a bad dumbass who was fighting in school just like me. But he wasn't the villain of the story. He was the hero. He was loud, rude, aggressive, obnoxious. All the things my middle school teachers would call me. But deep down, he honestly was just misunderstood. I didn't know it at the time, but at that very moment, me and anime had made a lifelong bond. Seeing a human so flawed be the hero of a story was life-changing to me as a kid. On top of that, a dude who could shoot lasers from his fingers is pretty cool. Seeing Yusuke grow up over the years in tandem while I was growing up, create like this weird symbiotic bond between me and him. Like this was way more than a cartoon for me. It became a person I knew going through the same trials and tribulations. Well granted, I wasn't fighting demons in a dark tournament to save the world, but I get my point. But like the challenges I faced still felt just as huge to me. I think Western superheroes are more like the gods of animation. Batman has a plan for every situation. I mean, Wonder Woman has a fucking whip that if she hits you with it, you become a good person. Dude, I'm just a regular guy trying to figure things out. I can't really relate to Superman. And I think that's what makes anime special for all people, not just black people. These are humans going through human things, trying to figure it out. The superpowers and demons and big anime titties just add a little razzle dazzle to the story. The idea of starting from nothing and becoming something is how a lot of black Americans define success. I mean, you can't start much lower than your great great grandfather being, you know, Granted, I'm just speaking on Shonen. So let me uh get my Seinen fans a little bit of shine right here. Vinland Saga, Thorfinn. Thorfinn can easily be one of my homies in the streets who's trying to get it back in blood, but has to move forward with his life dealing with that pain. I mean, bro, this some deep shit. Not only are we learning life lessons through cartoons, but these things are direct parallels to our life. That's why I think it's been such a huge resurgence in the, <coughs> I hate this word so much blurred culture because people see themselves in these characters the anime shows we watched as children gave us life lessons these are our greek myths stories to be passed down from generation to generation anime mainly shonen holds a special place in black viewers hearts the idea of getting it from the mud is something that black americans was told our whole lives granted i don't want that statement to discount any other struggles that any other race goes through i'm definitely not trying to take first place in the struggle olympics i'm just speaking on the bias i have growing up as a black man in this country. Anime gave me a mirror I needed when I felt like nobody else was looking at me. So maybe it's bigger than just some Asian dude drawing some lines on a sheet of paper for me. These are stories that people use to keep themselves sane. I'm pretty sure Tagashi, when he wrote Yusuke, wasn't thinking about some black kid in the inner city of Washington, D.C., but he gave me a voice when I felt voiceless. And I'm pretty sure it was like that for a lot of anime viewers growing up as a kid. So I just want to say thank you guys, for real.
Yo, what's good, guys? Okay, yeah, I'm super sorry I haven't dropped a video after the Elden Ring one. I've been really trying to figure out what I want to do with my content, but thank you guys for sticking around and being here while I grow. Make sure y'all guys follow me on my TikTok and my Twitter to keep up to date with me. And I have another video in the cut. If you guys want to hear me talk about some more nerd stuff in a very sensual and soft way, make sure to click the link right here. I'll catch you guys later.